What's up, everybody? The Stream Geeks here. Paul and Tess here to talk to you today about fundraising via live streaming. Yeah, we want to add fun back into fundraisers, but also for any creator, any business who wants to add Super Chat to trigger devices and things, we've been talking about that all the week, and we realize that there's a part that we really need to dive deep into, which is taking the YouTube Super Chat information, putting it into Google Sheets, and then using that data to get a whole sum of all of our um, donations during an entire broadcast, Plus, uh, bring in those live super chats into our broadcast using vMix data sources. A little bit of a deep dive, so we'll go into it right now. Here we go. So, one of the things you'll notice is that we have a, blog, a couple different blog posts on the subject. Um, so, if you're interested in how to launch a confetti cannon or any device with a smart plug, this is the way to go. Uh, you can see that we're working right now, actually, on some balloon blower uppers there. Um, we're going to be, each one of those is going to be a different super chat. But today, we're going to dive deep into the vMix integration with YouTube Super Chat. So, the way this works is very simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to integrate YouTube Super Chat with If Then This That, which is kind of in the cloud. If this, then that. If this, then that. <laughs> and what we're going to say is if a Super Chat comes in, then log it in Google Sheets. Okay. And once we log it in Google Sheets, then we can integrate it into vMix data sources. We can do all of the different data and bring it into vMix, which you'll see in a little bit here uh, in our data sources. We're going to be pulling in all of our data in just a moment, but I can't show you guys my API key, so just give me one second. Can't show that off. No. Um, so I'll just add it right here. Uh, put your put your hand over the screen, Tess. Okay. <laughs> Wait, keep holding it there. This is very official secret stuff. Okay, let me click the OK button. All right, there. So, all right, yeah, I think we're good. All right, so, so what you just did data. was pasted the Google Drive URL yes. and that API key. Yep, and we're, okay. we're, we'll, don't, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but first we're going to start with the IFTT. So, here we go, and here we are. So, IFTT, if this, then that. I know I've said it wrong like a million times. <laughs> um, so, what you can see, we've got a lot of stuff going on. We've got uh, our next video. This is going to be a two part series. It's going to show how to trigger devices and noises and things like that with the Lemetric. And we have turn on Darth Vader, turn on all the lights, blink our, our Philips Hue lights. But this is the one that we're going to show you today. How to track super chat messages in Google Sheets because we're going to use the data in vMix uh, data sources. So what you do is you click new applet if YouTube super chat and we want it to be any color because we want all of our super chats to be logged. Okay. But like if we wanted like a special, you know, uh, light or, you know, confetti cannon to go after our 100, we would just select that. Okay. But for this, we're going to do all super chats. And then we want them to integrate into So this sheets. is the action. And we just want to add a new row every time we get a super chat. Okay. All right. I You can choose what you want as far as what, but I, I found this is pretty good. Uh, Add ingredient. That's fun. Get the supporter URL. What else do we got? Yeah, so this has pretty much got everything. Uh, so actually, yeah, so that's already in there anyway. So we're good. You I see you have the drive action. folder path, drive so it knows where path, to go. Path. So you can put that in, but we, uh, we've already got this all set up. In fact, here is ours. So you can see here, it's logging all of our super chats. It tells you who gave you the super chat, gives you an image of their, um, their profile picture, uh, their super chat, and the dollar amount. And what I did was I went ahead and created um, a sum. So basically, we can turn the sum of all Super Chats, everything in B, and that is the sum of all of our Super Chats, although, delete that. So that 185 we've actually raised so far, Taz. Yay! Pretty That's crazy, not huh? bad. No, it's not bad at all. We're not even trying. Tomorrow, we're going to be raising money for uh, a charity, the Crime Victim Center of Chester County, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So... Now that we've got all of this information in here, we need to use vMix data sources. So now you can see here, here's vMix, and right down here there's a little thing called data sources. And that pulls this up, and we've integrated it with our Google Sheet. With that specific Google Sheet that was logging the information from if this, then that. Yep. So all of that is now available to us. 
Now, um, just a little plug that you guys can get all of the titles I'm going to show you in a minute, such as this. Um, you're going to be able to get all of these titles uh, at, let's see, where is it? Streamgeeks.us slash fundraising. If you want these titles, um, I've already built them and I'm happy to give them away for free to you guys. So, here we are. So, we've basically integrated YouTube with IFTTT. We've got it into Google Sheets. And uh, it's all working great. Now the next thing that you can do is you can actually build a custom title in vMix Title Editor. So vMix Title Editor looks a little bit like this. So this is a little bit of an advanced tutorial for already established vMix users it's pretty, likely. It's pretty advanced I would definitely say. And so I've got this folder. This is what you get free access to by downloading at nice. uh, .us slash fundraising. Did you make these? I made these and you Aww. can see here is one here. And for example, I've already made these, but you would go in and like, let's say that's where you want the super chat text to be. Maybe that's where you want the amount, the amount, maybe that's where so you want. So this is a way to display each person. super chat message that you receive yes. on your live show. An exciting so, way to say, oh, this just came in from so-and-so. It's so nice. And so if you're familiar with Femix, we have this thing called a title editor. And so what we do is we map the title to the data source. So here's our data source. And we can see here that you can pick I think columns. It's column th four is the user message. I think that's what we want. All right. So what there you just did was selected a certain text box in your vMix title from the Google Sheet to plug that individual information from a certain column on that Google Sheet. Yep. And I'll show a little bit more detail in a moment, but let's ch also choose the amount, which I think is number two. Okay, there. So now you can see our title ah, being populated. Great. So it's being populated. It's all set up. And then you basically can you control it in data sources. So, for example, if I wanted to go to the next one, you can just show the next one. Or you can keep it on auto next. So every time there's a new one, it just shows up with the next Thing. Oh, and that would be on, ideal. Yeah. So if you have it on loop, it'll just keep looping through. Mm -hmm. But usually what you want is you want it on the bottom. This is Case and Bryson who gave us a $10 chat at the end, Aww. remember? So you don't keep it on loop. Usually just keep it on uh, boom. On now I've next. got one more title I want to show you guys, uh, which is free again. It's in, the, in our download uh, under Super Chat. We've got our donation total. So check this one out, guys. Oh, that's important. Uh, we obviously want this one. And so in Google Sheets, this is, get, this is really getting deep. In Google Sheets, remember how we created the sum of all? I see. So now... So you're going to plug that column. We go ahead and we go into... Okay, we're done with that. This is getting deep, guys. Here we go. Um, all right, so this You're going to edit that title. We're going to add the, into this title. So instead of blah, blah, blah... It's going to be a data source piece a of information. Data source. It should, I thought it called. Yeah, it should be. Oh, okay. So I see what's going on here. So what we need to do is this needs to repeat every single ah. row because as it moves down from row to row, it's always looking for like that. I see. You know what I mean? So. Now it's saying 185, so now it's working. So um, that's the total amount that we've raised. That's the total amount that we've raised. So if you were having a live fundraiser, that total amount would be in the corner, and then as each new donation comes in, it would appear in the Super Chat Yes. Message. Now I'm, I'm finding an issue with this already, though. We probably don't want that because that's going to mess up our um, auto next. So what we'll do is, oh, the other thing I did was I basically, what we'll do is we'll do this. Boom. So this equals. <laughs> Thanks, Kason the sum of all of these and then we'll have sheet two be equal to so you're creating a whole different google sheet yeah one, one for more, the sum uh, tab, yeah and one for the individual super chats so there's the sum and then the second one so you would have to then add in a second google sheet into H1. your data sources to be able to select from that second google sheet to yep. populate and a title. Let me, yeah, let me show that. I'm glad you, you went that far. So basically, you can see here when you go into Google, when you ah, I already Google see sheet, sheet it's two. It's already got a second sheet. Okay, great. And then that makes it easier 
when we go into our title editor. So you made a new sheet that was the sum of sheet one. Yeah. I and see. Now, and now sheet two will just leave always And there's there. only one column. There's only column one there. column, so it'll never go away. Got it. So that is the I'm complete. with you. Tess is with me. <laughs> this is why I wanted to do it with you, Tess, because I thought a live demonstration. Oh, let's get rid of these. Um, now we're both on the same page about how this is all setting up for the show. Good for tomorrow's fundraisers. Good so for the fundraiser. This is a fun way to do a fundraiser, uh, a live production, and you might be demonstrating something. You might have guests on to talk about the cause and how important it is and really help people understand uh, why it's important to be donating to that cause. But it's also a great way to extend your reach beyond your initial community uh, if you're looking for donators. So you can go to streamgeeks.us slash fundraising. We'll put the link in the description below to get all of a whole guide on how all this works. I know it's a little complicated, but that's why we have blog posts on our website explaining everything step by step. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with a nonprofit that might be able to benefit from this. Yeah, and join us tomorrow for that fundraiser. Join us fundraiser. tomorrow for the fundraiser. All right, we'll see you guys. Bye.